Good morning, everyone. I was told we've got rockets, we've got rock kids. It's got to be exciting. And what could be more exciting than DFE standards? That's right. So we're going to get really excited about this. It's not going to be like when Nick said, put your hand up if no one puts the hand up. You're going to put your hands up. And if you do, and you answer a question right, you'll get a special little toffee, just like Dave did for stealing one of the questions that we're coming to and ruining the first couple of slides, but we'll be fine with that. So, um, Casey goes large. Unfortunately, now this is an age test for you, um, I've not got enough time to um, go through everything we need to today. And even our shorts course for DSLs, which is wonderful, um, and we put in loads more um, over the next few weeks till the summer as well, are 30 minutes, and even that's just the beginning. So this is like a Jive Bunny mega mix of me talking about web filtering. Who's old enough to know about uh, Jive Bunny? Oh, John was the first. He gets the toffee. Oh, in his cup. There we go. <laughs> right. So now, Casey is obviously the big thing. If you've been sleeping under a rock, um, you will perhaps not have noticed that the, uh, the first of September, well, not the first of September, because they always sneak in a few little juicy changes at the end, but essentially September's version came out a couple of weeks ago. Um, so there are other changes other than web filtering. We're not going to talk about them today. Web filtering is the big one. Um, but if you want to pass on, we've got a page, kc.ljfl.net, where you get more time listening to me, talking through slides of the track changes uh, of all the other bits with some reflective questions. You can then download the slides if you want to deliver them without my face on. That's fine too. Uh, to do some all staff training, hopefully that's really useful. And of course, we've got loads of other stuff on that page, such as the KC quizzes. I think we're at 100,000 answers on that this year, and so on. So there's loads more on all the other bits of KC that you can find on our website uh, there. And because this is the Jive Bunny Mega Mix, I won't have time to tell you everything. If you go to the link at the bottom there, safefiltering.ljfl.net, you will be able to unpack lots of the things that I'll be talking far too quickly about uh, today. And yes, I will start speaking faster and faster as we get through to get through my 244 slides this morning. But as you can see what's scrolling through there, they're the kinds of things um, that we should be thinking about. If you're not thinking about them, it's time to start thinking about them, but fear ye not. Um, and also, beyond that, there are two key courses. The 30-minute one for DSLs are already plugged. Um, that's getting uh, quite full at the minute for some strange reason. And at the, uh, if you're a, a techie, or to pass on to your techie, we've got the uh, David Young. How long is it? Look, the man at the back with the big hair. He's got five hours, six hours, seven hours, eight hours training on the techie one that you can send. Uh, your technicians too, because they do need to understand everything, and David can tell them everything, fear not. Uh, the next one of them is 24th of July, I believe, but the others are every week. So that's something else uh, you're going to do. So I was going to ask you this to see who's read it. Dave already said, but who's got lead responsibility? Yes. Woo! There we go. I tried to get Werther's originals, they didn't have any, so it's Tesco's own. Um, so, hands up if you're a DSL in the room. First person I see there. Woo! Moment to hold your cups. Right, so does anyone here feel like this already is the case or it could ever feel like that? Okay, so that might give us an indication of, hands up if that's you. Someone's honest. Okay, you can have two. I'm going to run out. So two for the lady over here. Sorry, not you, Tanya. Um, so there is a bit of panic going on, but you don't need to panic. A, because you've got LGFL, and if you haven't got LGFL, then talk to someone in the red shirt today. Um, but there's plenty of other things. So I'm not going to dwell on the KC stuff, because it does repeat it everywhere, all over the shop. Like I said, you can see the video with all the bits and bobs. Um, but it talks about adding it to your policy, adding it to staff training, talking to all staff, all of these kinds of things. But the key thing, as we've discovered, is the DSL has to take lead responsibility. That does not mean you need to start taking a technical degree and uh, plugging things in yourself, but you do need to know certain things. So that's what we're going to talk about. Right, quick test. No one Googling, please. Um, and I'll keep my BDI out. What's the first standard of the filtering standards? So I want to see a hand. This isn't for a toffee, it's for something else. How oh, come on, you're going to ruin my gag if no one gets it? <laughs> well. We've got, I, I've got all day. The clock's for me, <laughs> not for you. Some, I'll give you a clue. Something and responsibilities. Who said roles? Someone over there. Who was it that said roles first? 
Oh, right. Rolls. <laughs> there we go. So we've got roles over there, roles and responsibilities. Brilliant. Well done. Uh, we'll come back to that. Um, number two, we haven't really got time. I, I was going to do all sorts of other props, but um, I ran out of time. Um, we're just back to toffees now, fear not. Um, review your filtering annually. Uh, we will come back to that, don't worry. I'm not just uh, going to read these and sit down. You've got me for hours now. Um, who has ever done a filtering annual review? <laughs> I think that uh, scornful laugh tells us all we need to know. Okay, so we'll come back to that. Um, your filtering system should block harmful and inappropriate content without... Oh, hallelujah. You've been listening, haven't you? I don't know who that was, but there we go. There's loads of them. Good. Right, so without overblocking, but actually you're wrong. Um, overblocking is the Casey word in the standards one. It says the not quite so snazzy, unreasonably impacting teaching and learning. Uh, but we'll call it overblocking, which actually isn't just about that, and I'll come back to that, you won't be surprised to hear. Um, and finally, effective monitoring strategies. And of course, that one, is it monitoring with a small m or a big m, and so on, we'll come back to them. So, roles. Haven't got any more, but if anyone's peckish, the lady over there has. Um, who knows, uh, actually, just shout out some of the roles and responsibilities that you might note down for someone in your school. So, what role are we talking DSL, very good, very good. That wasn't enthusiastic enough to get a toffee. Uh, gov oh, definitely. Governor is the big new one, isn't it? Hands up who's already appointed their, uh, their governor for web filtering. Brilliant. Hands up who is flabbergasted that I just said that. Okay, your flabbergasting came a while ago. But that's quite a new thing, isn't it? So we will come to what could you tell your governor um, in the same way as what can we do if we're starting to worry about that. But yeah, governor is the key new role, obviously DSL, but um, the DSL might also be a bit worried about this, but don't forget about the technical teams as well. So that will be called different things in your different schools, but you do need to note down the roles and responsibilities for all these uh, different people. And don't forget all staff. So there is a role for everybody else. Um, but again, they don't need to know absolutely everything, but you will need to talk them through a few bits and bobs to make sure they're aware, they're giving you feedback if something doesn't work, all that kind of stuff. Right, um, so uh, the other one was uh, standard number two, uh, was about doing an annual review. Uh, if you have used that online safety audit, which is also something that's been in Casey for a couple of years, you will know um, that it has a section in it on filtering, which is essentially a filtering review. So if you use that, you could do it that way. Even if you use a, a different tool for that or you don't want to do it together, you can go there and get the questions on filtering to form your annual review. I'm not going to go into, uh, into what they will say at the minute, but we will talk in a second about uh, review versus checks and then regular checks. Okay, so it's really important to know that the review and the checks are not the same thing, even though, confusingly, it talks about checking the review and reviewing the checks. But... Um, it will uh, become clear. So, I can't remember what comes up next. Um, I'll give myself a toffee. Uh, right, so, <laughs> I remember now. Um, for those of you that are thinking this is all too much, uh, don't look at your watch, Bob, this is exciting. <laughs> um, for those of you uh, wondering where to even start, um, this is what we always tell people when they come to our short course. Um, and if you're thinking, I can't do all of that, where are we going to go? Just start with this. Whether you are a senior leader in a school that's never had a conversation about filtering before, or whether you're talking to your governors and saying you've got to get involved, just start with this. What's blocked, what's not, and the why is the big thing. If your answer to why is uh, because the technician set it up like that, or because LGFL had the defaults like that 20 years ago, that's not really good enough. Um, so it's not just for convenience or technical convenience. Uh, you need a strategic rationale for that and it will be different in every school as long as you uh, have a conversation about it between SLT technical team safeguarding people and document it uh, then don't worry about getting in trouble for it but you do need to think through these things now on our portal so this is uh, the school protect web screen portal um, you can see these uh, red and blue uh, things you probably can't read the text 
Um, if you come along to our, uh, one of our short courses, we'll go into a teeny bit more detail about it. But essentially, to find out what's blocked and not, um, you can do by looking at your groups you will have in your schools. I know some of you know this, but some don't. You'll have different policy groups for either all staff and all pupils, or hopefully slightly more granular ones for the younger pupils or the older ones, depending on key stage, or staff that only work in an office with a computer uh, children can never get to or not, that kind of thing. Um, and there are a few different ways that you can check it for categories, bundles, and individual uh, sites. So that's the kind of way you can start, before you start panicking, uh, to think about what's blocked, what's not, and why. You do also need to talk to your technical teams about some of the more complex things, like for whom and when, time of day, uh, exceptions, that kind of thing. But in a nutshell, it's kind of that. Um, standard number four was about monitoring. <coughs> and monitoring is not the same as monitoring, and it's not the same as filtering. What does he mean, I hear you ask? Well, I'm glad you ask. Um, monitoring... Um, systems, like uh, we've got a couple outside in the hall today, so uh, Netsport are there in the Tech Village and Securus are there as well, and Jim Fessy, give us a wave. The, the man over here is from the Co-op Academy Trust, and they've been using a monitoring tool uh, from NetSweeper called OnGuard, so you've got three options you can go and talk to about monitoring. Within the standard, the fourth one, it does talk about the technical version of standard quite heavily, as well, of course, of monitoring your filtering, so kind of checking your reports and things like that. But it is really important that you understand the difference. On the first, uh, the, the scrolling video of the web page I showed you at the start, say filtering.lgfl.net, uh, does talk about the difference between the two. They are two very different things. Uh, we don't have a monitoring service from LGFL at the minute, but we do hope to uh, one day. But remember, for your filtering as well, you can run reports on it. We would suggest uh, report on what are the key things that are blocked each time or not, that kind of stuff. Um, but a few people have come to us and said, oh, can we have an alert every time something is blocked, please, because they think that's what you need to do. No, 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 no. If you did that, you would have thousands a day, or maybe hundreds of thousands a day, depending on where you're at. So that's really not what the standards are asking you to do, uh, so just in terms of not panicking. I think that's uh, really key. Oh, look, I put that there as well. Good. Um, there we go. We'll move on. Um, right. So they were the four. We're going to hop back to what on earth is the difference between checks and annual review? Who can shout something out? It's toffee worthy. Yes? I can't hear what you're saying, but yes. <laughs> yes, I think I'll say that was right. Um, so it does talk about reviews and checks, and I think the lady down here said, oops, um, said that the reviews is like the annual strategic thing of how do we want this to work in general, and the checks are the regular operational day-to-day -day, um, things. Now, had I had time yesterday, I wasn't just going to get rolls, I wanted to go to B&Q and buy you a big fat switch, like an oven switch, uh, but I didn't have time. Because um, the key thing in terms of the checking is, is it still turned on or not? Um, I'm not going to talk through this, but I just wanted to pop it up to show you that we've got this. This, again, is on that page. You can download things you need to think about first um, <clears throat> in terms of uh, who's going to do the checks, that kind of thing. The reason for these checks came from a very sad case um, of a young lady who took her own life after looking for methods of doing so on a school iPad um, that wasn't connected to uh, the filtering in whatever area of the country that was uh, that was in, and it, if you needed reason to know why should we check things, that's one, because things are always changing in your school. You're always getting new uh, bits of equipment, or uh, someone is changing something, the internet changes, you know, loads of reasons why you might want to check. So these are some of the key things, essentially, is it on, and is it on everywhere, every account, every system, every platform, things like that. Um, now, this slide is not an eye test, <laughs> but the, it is not designed for a presentation, it's designed for you to download off the page, um, and it gives you loads of ways that you can do some of these checks. So after you've made the decisions on page one about who is doing it, and when and how often, and how it's documented, and where it's logged, and all of that, and what you want to find, here are some examples of things you can go, go click there, you'll see if safe, safe search is on, go click there, you'll see if YouTube is on the right mode that you want, and so on. Loads of them through there uh, to support you as you uh, come up with your checks. Uh, but really key part of that, though, is making sure you're getting feedback. Um, so you will be starting, doubtless, to have meetings between technical teams and, uh, and DSLs and the like. But you need to get feedback from 
all staff as well when you do your checks. People have asked how often. There is no official answer, but we would say maybe once a half term might be a, a good time to do it because it doesn't need to be a massive thing. But, but you need feedback from all staff of, oh, did anyone notice that things were blocked that shouldn't be or that uh, pupils could get past the filtering because there's always someone uh, cleverer than you think uh, who can get through these things. But the key thing, that was my B&Q switch moment, was is it on or off everywhere is what you need to think about. Um, these are more for uh, reference that if you want to find out more about YouTube and Safe Search, <coughs> we've got guidance on that as well. Don't worry about uh, writing it all down because it's all on the website. But these are things uh, that can form part of your checks and are really key because in a way, Safe Search is more important than filtering uh, because uh, if you haven't been suggested a dodgy site, you're not going to try and click on it in the first place. Um, so what might we do? This, these are things that if you've been on one of the short courses, you'll see, you'll know these slides as well. But um, you need a member of SLT who is responsible for filtering. Um, and that was from the standards that came out in March. Now that KC says uh, the DSL is responsible for it, you kind of know who your member of SLT is, but you could always have a second one as well if they're more technically minded to work together, and the governor as well. Um, roles and responsibilities are a really good way to start because there's no point thinking about uh, what's allowed, what's not, and why and then deciding that actually it's someone else's responsibility to be part of that conversation. So you might want to do these first. Um, if you want to take a picture of this slide, you've got about 10 seconds. I see some people fiddling with phones, although it is on the, uh, on the website as well. Um, and then think about your reporting and checks um, as, as well. But the key thing, someone, uh, several people shouted out about overblocking at the beginning. That is so important. The new standards talk about unreasonably impacting teaching and learning. That's not the only reason you could be overblocking. It could be overblocking if uh, your system is so unrealistic compared to what they get when they go home that it hasn't taught them what to do when you find something that scares you on the internet. Um, there are good safeguarding reasons as well to not have it too strict because then they go home and, uh, well, you will know what happens then, don't you? Uh, but do be thinking about that every time because it's really tempting uh, to panic and block everything, but unfortunately, the internet will never be perfectly safe if it's turned on. Um, that's kind of the way it is, but we are already so much uh, safer than other things as well. So, um, two other things that you can do. Um, we've already talked about the online safety audit, actually, so I don't need to reference that again. Uh, but think about decryption for the next year. Um, we're going to be sending out some messaging over the next week or so because that's something, and you'll be delighted if you're not a technical person, if you are a technical person, perhaps less so, that's something that you will need to ask your techies uh, to do perhaps over the summer holidays. It's a good summer holiday task if you wanted any tasks um, because every device needs to have this thing called a certificate uh, on it. So that's something to think about. Um, but very briefly, I'll hop back because you'll be thinking, yes, but decryption. Um, we have got a video, again, on uh, the, the same website that explains what decryption is because normally it sounds like a bad thing, doesn't it? If you read the newspapers, WhatsApp will say, ah, oh, don't decrypt us or we're going to run away um, from the UK. Um, but it's actually a very good thing in the context of our filtering. Um, and we've got some slides that, uh, because I've not got two hours, I haven't got time to talk to you about now. But you can get these slides and a video talking about how decryption helps you. I know you can't read it. Don't worry. Um, for example, in terms of reporting and filtering, without decryption, you have to do the whole website, like bbc.co.uk. Um, but with decryption, you can both filter, so block or allow individual bits of it that come after the .co.uk, and you can also report on it, which can be really useful if you're investigating an incident, that kind of thing. Um, lots of people worry about, is it safe and secure? There are lots of reasons why, yes, it is. Um, but if you just want to think about uh, the, the purple bits, does it mean that LGFL or our technical team are going to see passport, uh, passports, passwords, photos, um, things you type into boxes, no, it doesn't. It's got nothing to do with that. If you're using a monitoring system, that's a different matter um, because then obviously you can if you're getting screenshots. Uh, so there's loads on that, but I would suggest think about it, talk about it, and definitely that's one where you cannot get through this without communicating between uh, your tech team and your safeguarding team uh, because there's work to do there as well. But maybe you could install these certificates over the summer, which means when it comes along, you're ready for it. Uh, okay, but... Lots of people have also been saying, 
is LGFL good enough? Because suddenly we're aware of um, these standards. I'm not going to bore you at the minute, although it's not boring, it's very exciting about how LGFL uh, filtering is good enough. Um, but uh, we do have a section uh, on that same page, but you can scroll straight through it if you go to appropriate.lgfl.net, where we uh, give you a link to our document that we have to file a submission to the Safer Internet Centre to say, yes, we block those uh, illegal sites, uh, this, that, and the other, what our general rationale is. Um, but also a bit more of a, a, a spiel on how it's compliant and helps you. But here's an easy question. If you're with LGFL and you have LGFL filtering, are you compliant with the standards? Yes. Who said no? Yes. Woo. Or better, not necessarily, because we do... Uh, you've got to lift, I hope the uh, video doesn't cut off there or it's going to look dodgy, isn't it? Because... We do some stuff for you, but there's lots that you need to do as well, okay? We give you the systems, we give you the tools, a uh, lot like many other things, um, but there are certain things that you need to do yourself, so please do remember that. Um, as I said at the beginning, this is the key page. If you want to relive this experience, otherwise grab me over lunch, um, but that everything you need to know, could ever want to know about filtering is there at safefiltering.lgfl.net. The wider picture, uh, oh yeah, and the draining. Um, the wider picture was, oh, that was it. Uh, the wider picture was at uh, kc.lgfl.net if you want to see some of the other changes as well. Some of them are really quite small, but interesting um, uh, teaching points, shall we say. Um, yeah, I think I'll stop there. Thank you very much, and uh, have a good day. Thank you.